Looker Explorers often contain information from multiple data tables based on relationships that your developers have defined. When possible, you'll want to take advantage of these explorers because they'll be faster and guaranteed correct. However, there may be times when your developers haven't created the relationships you need or they face technical limitations. In these cases, Looker lets you combine data tables from different explorers to create queries. For example, let's say you've been working with an explorer that has user data for a fictional e-commerce store. This explorer helped you learn more about your users, but it doesn't have any information about orders that your users are placing. Orders data is located in a different explorer. You can merge these two explorers together, giving you results from both. Start with the first query, which is called the primary query. It's based on the user's explorer, and it's showing a count of users grouped by city. Now maybe you want to add a count of orders for each user, grouped by city and state, but that comes from a different database and it is available in a different explorer. To include that data, first click on the gear menu and then select Merge Results. Next, pick the explorer that has the data you need. In this case, the data lives in the Order Items Explorer. From this explorer, you want to query a count of orders for each user, grouped by the user's state. You also need to select something that allows both of your queries to be joined together. Your first query included the user city dimension, so add the same dimension to this query. Once you've selected the fields you need, click Run to see the results. And then once you've confirmed that the query returns the correct results, click Save. In the Merge Rules section, Looker displays fields it used to match the queries, based on similar data types. Looker has automatically matched the data based on the user's city, but you could use other types of data, such as dates, account numbers, and so forth. You can change these choices by clicking on a field name. The dropdown will show all other applicable fields. Now click Run to see the merged results. The user's state dimension and order count measure have been merged into the original user's query, so you can see results from both datasets together in your merged results. Note that even though you added two different user city dimensions, you only see the user city once. This is because both of those fields are identical, so Looker will only show the field from the primary query. But what happens if one of the values in your primary query doesn't exist in another query? In that case, Looker will simply show null for the fields in that query. This is a merged query showing a user count, sessions count, and order count grouped by the session's start month. In this example, the session's data goes back for several years, but order's data only goes back for six months, so Looker displays nulls for the previous months. In the reverse situation, where a value in the other query doesn't exist in the primary query, it simply won't show up. What if you have orders from November 2017? If the primary query, in this case sessions, only has data up to October 2017, then the merged results will only include values up to October 2017. You can view the visualization for your query results and edit the visualization as you could with any other query. You can click on the columns to sort the data, and you can also edit the existing queries by clicking the name of the source query in the left pane. From here, you can add or remove fields or include filters for the individual queries. Click Save to return to your merged results. If you want to add data from additional explorers, click the Add Query button and follow the same steps. Whenever possible, you should use the data from a single explorer because your Looker developer has designed how to combine the data from different database tables. When needed though, merging results is a powerful technique that enables you to combine data from multiple explorers and databases. Thanks for watching. In this tutorial, we showed merged results. To learn more about exploring data in Looker, go to Looker's documentation.